Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 20 franchise mode here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. In the previous few episodes, we have gone through some tough competition and let's let's rewind a little bit. The 2021-2022 regular season was just crazy. You know, around the deadline or all over the place, we we crapped the bed on a lot of different places. We right there we lost one, two, three, four, five, six games in a row, and then lost one, two, three, four, five games in a row. That's a lot of games, and we, we lost 31 regular season games. We also won 50. We are talented, and I know we are capable of where we are right now, but let's bring it back to round number one. The Vegas Golden Knights, that was an interesting series. We scored goals, a bunch of them. A lot of guys shine. Brock Besser, Sean Monahan from the Shadows putting up a bunch of assists. Tristan O'Reilly, the young kid, the rookie. Joe Thornton, the ripe old age of 183. We put up goals. They also put up a lot of goals. That was a big problem in round number one. We scored a way out of trouble. We could have been down. We could have gotten swept. If scoring wasn't on our side, we definitely could have gotten swept. Easily. We, we got bailed out a few times. Then we lost 6-3, and then we won 4-2. We won that round, and then we move on to round number two. And when I say crazy, I mean this is, this is the pinnacle of just crazy hockey. Round number two, game one, we come back in the third period, a two-goal deficit. We force overtime and then lose which absolutely sucks. And then we lose 6-1. And then I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, what the hell do we do now? Overtime, a 4-3 overtime victory. A phenomenal goal from Brock Besser, Prince Charming in overtime. Then we head back for game number four. So James Reimer was the starter in both those wins. We're like, okay, David Riddick just sucked. We'll go with him. We'll go with James Reimer. He want, he got a shutout. And we're like, okay, tie series. Head back to San Jose. All right, no, wait, 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 wait. I, I'm wrong. Uh, nope, uh, wait. We were up in the series at that point. Wait, I'm bad at math. One, two, th that's four games. Why am I so bad at this? Game five. We dropped the ball. Six, four. I'm like, okay, let's do something. Something's just not working. Accidentally, David Riddich wasn't the guy I meant to go in for game six, but David Riddich goes in there and posts a shutout. So I'm like, okay, well, this is a difficult decision. Who do we go with for game seven? The hot hand, or do we go with the goalie that's been good for us for a while? We go with David Riddich. He has a phenomenal performance in both game six and game seven single-handedly taking us to the western conference finals for the first time since 2004 the minnesota wild on paper weren't the strongest team they had their weapons kem viala galchenyuk kaprasov sergachev a solid goaltender matt murray we drop game one i'm not feeling it at that point i'm like okay seriously guys what's going on David Riddich was our guy at that point. And then we go with James Reimer. James Reimer wins. Uh, he loses that game, but he wins, and we get a win. We win in overtime, a two-second uh, overtime victory. And then we drop the ball. Again, we are down. We're like, okay, James Reimer is not helping us. He blew a 4-1 lead in game, th in game four. Not helping our causes. And a 6-3 loss. We go with David Riddich. We want to roll with the guy that's supposed to be leading us. A 2-1 victory by the skin of our teeth. Okay. David Riddich was the guy. 5 nothing victory. Our offense comes out clutch. And the goaltending was huge. But today, 
we are facing the Tampa Bay Lightning. If, and if this sounds familiar, it should. 2004. The Calgary Flames lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning in Game 7. One win away. And if you don't know the controversy surrounding that series, I advise you go Google it because a lot say a lot of say Calgary should have technically won that series, but Tampa Bay has that one Stanley Cup. Calgary is looking for number two. They have home ice. Playoff tree. Let's go ahead and look at it real quick from Tampa Bay's perspective. Tampa Bay went through Boston in seven. Toronto got the President's Trophy winner was kicked out. The best team, the two best teams in the West were kicked out through two rounds. So the East and West were pretty wide open. Tampa Bay sweeps Washington. They beat Carolina in seven. And now we got a rematch for the history books, ladies and gents. What? I know what the Tampa Bay L Lightning look like, but have they added? Have they gotten worse? They scare me. We didn't have to go through Colorado or Edmonton or a lot of really awesome teams. Now we're facing the pinnacle of hockey teams. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, no. <laughs> the reigning Art Ross winner. 119 points. He won it in year one, didn't didn't win it in year two, but he win it he won it this year. He technically hasn't been handed the award, but he won it. His wingers help him out tremendously. Alex Killorn and Nikita Kucherov, former MVP, former 128 point getter. He's a machine. That first line scares the hell out of me. Bra Braden Point. Is injured, but I don't think he's injured because he's technically in the lineup. Scares the hell out of me. Yanni Gord. Ugh, scary. Anthony Shirelli. Ugh, my god. Third line. That's that's good enough to be any first line in the league. Tyler Johnson. Volkov. And Andre Palat. I remember Tyler Johnson and Andre Palat being the up-and-coming guys on Tampa Bay in what I want to say 2015, where they just came out of nowhere and they rocked and... Now they're here. Third line easily could be second line anywhere else. Fourth line, Matu Joseph, Goodrow, and Tyler, Taylor Radish. This forward core scares the hell out of me. Defensively. Huh. Now, Minnesota did take Sergachev from Tampa Bay, and I believe they offer sheeted him. But Tampa Bay means they're only going to be getting great players from the draft for a few few years. Ryan McDonough, Victor Hedman, top tier pairing in the league. Madison Bowie, Bowie, who they picked up at the deadline. Cal Foote, Cernak, and Tim Heed. They got their anchors. Not the worst bottom pairing, but they're not really lacking. Goaltending, their starting goaltender, Andre Vasilevsky. Oh, scratch players, Carpenter. Nah, not too much here. They got their they got their team set in stone. Calgary, you can change history for the better. Look at this team and tell me it isn't ready. You know, we spent spent last year out of the postseason thinking. It was a it was a blessing that we got Tristan O'Reilly. He's our future. He has a chance to win his first ever Stanley Cup in his first ever postseason. We are ready to go forward. We are ready to win. This team is ready. This team needs to win. All this all this stress, two straight rounds being on the cusp of elimination. We need it. They have home ice advantage. One of the best teams in the NHL this year. Stanley Cup Finals underway. A rematch for the ages. Ages? Round number four. The Stanley Cup Finals game Numero uno. Power play early Calgary. Power play Tampa Bay. Oh, I hate this. They got star power. Legitimate. We have legitimate guys too. But I don't know what their chemistry looks like. They could be 99s on that first line. It's scary. I don't like. I don't trust. 
us to beat that kind of team yet. We haven't been through one of those teams. Yes, the teams that we just fought were solid, but they weren't Tampa Bay. Second period. Out shooting them. Can we get a goal on the board? Ooh, Sean Monahan, future captain. Not sure. Come on, Calgary. Come on, boys. Get the, t get the second marker. Come on. Come on. It's going to be hard to get past Vasilevsky. Get two. Get two, boys. Come on. Oh, my God. We've, we've gotten one goal through 40 minutes. I hate our chances here in the third period. I hate them. I hate it. Power play early Tampa Bay. Oh, my God. And Shirelli scores. It was only a matter of time. Can't blame Riddich there. There's no way in any world I could blame him. 1-1, one, one, halfway through the third period. Power play. <gasps> Come on, boys! Five minutes. Somebody step up, Calgary. Somebody, please. No. Power play late, Tampa Bay. No! Are you kidding me? Who? Who? Who took that penalty late? Who did it? Kachuk. Kachuk. Johnny Goudreau got hurt. Damn it. May 28th. Uh, I'll go best lines. May 28th. He should be back in a few games. Like... That takes the wind out of our sails. If we could have gotten to overtime, I could have I could have lived with a loss. But this hurts us a lot. A lot. This hurts a lot. Okay, I'll keep Casparitis there, I guess. For for Bass, Fors Baca Carlson. Why is that so hard to pronounce? My God, do we do we do we go Dion Fagoof? No, we don't. He had 10 penalty minutes. I'm sorry, bud. Goaltender, David Riddich. He, I can't blame him too much in that game. Our offense didn't step up. We have a better defense in them. We're pretty neck and neck with them. They have the talent. We do too. Game two. See if we can tie the series up before we head back to Calgary. First period, boys. Come on. We lost Goudreau. Ivan Kasparitis, the Russian. Our first year draft coming up clutch. one nothing Calgary. Power play. Come on. Come on. Tristan O'Reilly, the rookie. Second overall pick last year. Shirelli cuts the lead in half. Come on. Just get to the end of the first goddamn period, boys. 2-1 Calgary. Our two... I mean, they're rookies. Kasparitis has never played... I don't think he's ever played a regular season game. Tristan O'Reilly played the entire season. His first ever postseason. Kasparitis came in for Chernik. He's been pretty solid ever since. Second period shots are pretty even. It's a pretty even game so far. We need a, we need a marker here or there. Please. Shirelli, god damn it, really? Oh my god, Riddich. Nielsen, I'm glad I didn't take you out. Thank you for stepping up. Come on, Riddich. Please, settle down, man. I said I was going to go with you. You need to be with us. 3-3, three, three, we could be down 2-0 against one of the best constructed teams in the NHL. We're, we have 15 shots to their 23. S Goudreau's out. Hull, Monaghan, Noah Hannafin. Somebody step the hell up. Somebody become a hero for Calgary. Power play Tampa Bay early. Killing it off. Shirelli, is that the freaking hat trick? Are you kidding me? Calgary! Really? Seriously? You're gonna do nothing this third period. That's what I'm talking about, Joe! Overtime it is. Game number two. Will we tie the series? Or will we be down against one of the best teams in the NHL? I'm hoping we get a little bit of clutch, some magic from this team. Come on, boys. 
Joe Thornton took it in his hands. He wants a Stanley Cup. Make it a series, boys. I don't like this. They got star power. We do too. Oh, I don't... What is this passing? What is the AI in this game? I don't understand. This is stressful. I've recorded all night to get to this point. Do not, do not go out like chumps. Do you hear me? David Riddich with a stop. Okay. First line versus their second line. Our line is definitely getting tired. Sean Monahan get the face off win. That's a W. Taylor Hall. I wish we had Goudreau. That'd make things a little different for us, wouldn't it? Over to the point. Take the shot. That was off somebody's ankles. My God, he's dead. They're shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> oh my God. Poor guy. Take the body, boys. Come on. Uh, please. Two guys against one. You got to get that puck back. Really? Shirelli. Oh my God. Besser. Prince Charming. Kachuk. He's got room. The big body. Pass it. Pass it. That's when you pass it. Uh, Should have passed it earlier than that. Oh no. Shirelli looking for goal number what? Four in this game. Calfoot. Back to the point. Good rope. Good chuck. Okay. 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 What is. Why? Why? At least pass the puck on their stick. Please. It's two o'clock in the morning. I should not be yelling. Oh, big save from Riddich. My God. Perfectly set play from Tampa Bay. Tristan O'Reilly become a hero. Be the hero. <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. That. It doesn't happen every play in the NHL where they send it back into the neutral zone, into their own end. What? 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 What is this? What is this kind of hockey? Look, here's the puck. Sends it the complete opposite direction. <laughs> what? Oh my God! Just like what overtime last series. One of the longest overtime games I've ever played or watched. Third line out here. <laughs> what a big hit. What this power play. Yes. Oh, drew, who who drew that? Who drew that? Who drew it? Who drew it? Oh, Tim Heath's head in the box. Nobody really important. Who t who drew the penalty? Is that uh Cas is that Casparetis? I'm not sure. I couldn't really read it. Second, why is there second power play out here? Why? Dylan Dubé, come on. It's gonna lose that face off and they're just gonna dump it. Lo oh, you love to see it. You love, and we're, watch, we're gonna get barely any offensive zone uh, time to plan anything. We're just gonna dump it because we don't even have any guys going back to get the puck. I gotta change coaches. Like, I wanna go for a more offensive coach where we actually try. Dustin Brown, over to Dylan Dubé. Dustin Brown's out here, come on, over to Taylor. Oh, there we go, oh, ending it in overtime. Tie series, ladies and gentlemen, in over, I gotta check that out. Oh, I don't even wanna see the replay, I just wanna do the replay on my own. Who in the blue hell just did that? Dustin Brown, we got him at the trade deadline as an acquisition, hasn't really played much in this in this uh, postseason, over to Brown. Brown sends it over for Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall sends it in front for the fourth line center. Ain't no way he gonna miss that. Phenomenal. There you go. That's how you tie up the series. Big overtime victory. Joe Thornton took it into his own account and he he brought it back for us. He was the only reason we got there. Now, David Riddich, dude, <laughs> you gotta be better than that. Uh, Goudreau should be back soon, right? Is Goudreau gonna be back? Is Goudreau healthy? He might not be healthy right now. We need him back. Goudreau's not healthy. Okay, I'm gonna roll with these lines. I'm gonna roll with them. That's, that's why we got Dustin Brown to be
be a placeholder for us. Game number three here in Calgary. Somebody's going to take the series lead here. First period underway. Welcome to Calgary. First finals appearance in Calgary in a very long time. Say hello. Very, very familiar. Come on, boys. Tampa Bay opens a scoring. Killorn with the first goal on the power play. Thank you, David Riddich. One goal on like four shots. Lovely. Can we tie this one up before the end of the first? No, we cannot. Lovely period. Oh, just when offense is your best thing and it doesn't show up and then even when your goaltender's doing well, nobody shows up. Yippee. We can compete with the Tampa Bay Lightning. We can. We can totally do that. So step it up. Come on, power play. Brock Besser, Prince Charming on the power play. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Halfway through the game. Power play again. Ooh, they kill it off. I don't like this at all. I really don't. I don't. I don't like it. And it's 1-1. One, one. Heading into the third period. They have 15 shots to our 19. 1-1, one, one, anything can happen. Come on, somebody step up. I know I say that a lot, but somebody be a hero. Brock Besser, come on. Please. Somebody, Calgary. I don't like, I don't like this. Halfway through the third power play again. Mm, uh, I'm, I'm going to look away. I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. I knew that was going to happen. David Riddich, are you... Are you kidding me? Again, another game where you allow a late goal and we could have brought it to... We could be 3-0 by now, you know that? Dude. Uh, what the hell? We were this close from overtime and then anything could have happened. Again, is this something new you're doing? Is like, oh, I'll just allow a late period goal, because why not? Oh my God! Please, please, <laughs> game four. Come on, let's tie this one up. Make it a best of three in the finals. Come on, Calgary. Come on, power play Tampa Bay. Killing it off. Goudreau might have been healthy, but he probably wouldn't have been fully healthy, and I don't want to risk him getting hurt in this game because I know that's how that would it would work. <sighs> zero zero. I right, guess what we do with tie games, we allow late period goals. They're basically doubling us up in shots. I don't I don't trust this team anymore. We can't hold on to a lead. Steven Stamkos, his first goal of the series. Uh, pretty sure, right? My God. Are you kidding me, guys? Please. Please, Calgary. Somebody step up. What is happening? Their defense is nowhere near ours. Ours is so much better. Yes, they have Hedman. But we are the offense and the defense. I think all around... Probably better. They have their stars, obviously. But man, we need to be better. one nothing In the third period of game number four. Power play Calgary. Damn it, really? Oh, and here comes a 2 nothing goal for Tampa Bay. Yep, what did I say? What did I say? Nothing. Absolute, a power, just, refs, just give them whatever. Just, yeah. Pareko, 2-1. I'll go to four times speed. 2-1. 3-1 goal, and the series will be 3-1 Tampa Bay. Sean Monahan, thank you for joining us late. All I've spent all night simulating the postseason. Like four hours. <laughs> Johnny Goudreau is fully healed. I will go best lines. Our offense has been nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. It is nowhere. Taylor Hall. You're going down there. 
Who's out of lineup right now? Jacob Forsbacka Carlson. Why? Why? Dustin Brown has been pretty crappy. I should have just kept JFK in the lineup. I should have. Okay. We're down. And we're out. This could be it. All this time. Two straight rounds that went to seven games. It has not been easy for us. We can fight back. I'm not taking out James Reimer. I'm not taking out David Riddich for James Reimer. I'm not. David Riddich has to prove himself if he wants another contract. Step up. At least give us a fighting chance. Game number five. Elimination. Stanley Cup is in the building. Tampa Bay is obviously going to score early. I'm going to freak out. Casparitis, uh, the Russian. Joe Thornton wants a Stanley Cup. I feel so bad for him because every time I ever acquire him in a franchise mode, he never wins it with us. And I just want to do it for him. I feel bad. <sighs> 2 2. Second period. Shots are pretty even. Could we hold on to a lead for once? Power play Calgary. Brock Besser, Prince Charming. Glad I signed you to a five year deal and Matthew Kachuk. Power play again. Come on, where's the offense when you need it? Please, uh, Calgary, you can't be winning games 3-2 because you can't against Tampa Bay. You can't. You're physically incapable of doing that. Just, just wait. I'll just wait. I'll just hold my breath, okay? No, oh, Sean Monaghan scored. So, wow, wow. Future captain. I'm, no, I'm not mad at you, Sean. I'm not. Dylan Dubé. 5-2 stomping. That's exactly what we needed in Game 5. Joe Thornton really wants this damn Stanley Cup. And I'm going to feel so bad for him if he retires and we can't get him back. <sighs> okay, 6-2 victory in Game 5. It's a 3-2 series at this point. Joe Thornton did everything in his power there. Still down in this series. Okay. Sean Monaghan, look at that, 34 points. My god, are you kidding me? Uh, he's a playmaker, but man, he can score goals if he feels like it. Game number six, we're here in Calgary. Boys, it's do or die. Down in the series, will we see a game seven? I have no idea, but we have to be strong. Come on, Calgary, power play early. Why is it always power plays for Tampa Bay early? For every, ever, every every team we faced in this postseason. Matthew Kachuk, glad I signed you to a five-year deal. Thank you for stepping up. You'll deserve the money. Power play Tampa. Oh, we kill it off. Oh, Jankowski's been a be I'm glad I signed him to an eight-year deal as our fourth-line center. Beauty. Oh, phenomenal contract. Two-nothing. After 20 minutes, shots are in Tampa Bay's favor, but we have the goals. Second period. I don't trust a two-nothing lead. Power play, make it three-nothing. Damn it, Steven. Stupid, stupid femur breaking Stamkos. Power play. Come on. Damn it. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. David, could you hold a lead, please? Please? Does it have to be a four goal lead for you? If so, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Calgary, you had a 2 nothing lead. David Riddich, you're not getting a contract again if you're just going to play like this. It's on you now. A 2 nothing lead, you're an 83 overall goaltender. Eh, difference between an 82 and an 80 or 90 overall goaltender isn't much in simulation. So, maybe you step up for once. The last postseason, you had a 940. If, we had a not, if you had a 940 right now, we would have already won the Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup is not looking... Not looking like it's going to be in our future here. Or this particular postseason. They're out shooting us. They have the momentum. <sighs> Slow sim. <sighs> Come on. Boys. Don't go quietly into thy good night. Please step the hell up Calgary 
please. Game six. Overtime. Stanley Cup is in the building. So this is the most stressful overtime we've had of this entire series so far. Stanley Cup is in the building. We don't want it to be one tonight. We want to head to seven. We want to see Tampa Bay. The Amelie Arena. We want to get there, but we have to get a win. Oh my god. Oh my god, Riddich. Oh, every shot, every offensive zone turnover, every defensive zone turnover is like a gut punch. Calgary. One of you will become a hero, or one of you will become a villain. Remember who you are. Remember what you want to be. Goudreau strips the puck. Thank you for coming back, Goudreau, and being awesome. Appreciate it. Shot on net. Vasilevsky will stop. Offensive zone faceoff. Okay. Man, I just want to see Matthew Kachuk lay a body out. Just go over there to Vasilevsky. Hit him with your stick. I don't care if you're suspended for another season. I don't care. Sean Monahan. Face off. Win. I'll take it. Hannafin. Nice pass. Back to Pareko. Take the shot. Backhander. Missed the net. At least if you take a shot on net, just make sure you hit the net. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We'll, we'll turn the puck over a few times there. Goudreau. Sends it over Monahan. Hannafin. We'll throw it around the net. And Hedman will regain the puck. Lo lovely. So what was that? What was the point of dumping the puck there? If you weren't going to go chase it. That was... Oh. What was that? What was that? No. <laughs> no, I can't do this anymore. This has been so... I've recorded all the playoff round one, two, three, and four in one evening. I got home from work. I plopped my butt on my couch and I started recording. It's... It's... Two... Two in the morning. Two in the morning. Come on, make my life nice. Tristan O'Reilly, the rookie, become a god here in Calgary. <sighs> Joe Thornton tried. Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad for Joe. Who's Joe? No! <laughs> What's that pass? I say that too often. I know I'm running out of I'm running out of words to use to describe as my frustration. It's getting I'm getting angry. Joe Thornton, come on. Face-off loss, point, foot, slapper in front. Oh my god, what a save, Riddich. What a save. Oh my god, that should have been the goal. O'Reilly. Ooh. Rister. Back to the point. Just take the shot. Slapper. Miss it. Valimaki. Back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Vasilevsky extends the glove. We get the offensive zone face-off, though. I will take it. Yeah, that should have been the gold end. If he just got a piece of that puck, or if he just got that the extension of that stick, it would have been over. If it's not, we have still have a chance. Face off victory over to Valimaki. <laughs> Valimaki, yes! Game seven. We will see you in Tampa Bay. The Stanley Cup will come down to game seven our third straight series to go to game seven and this is obviously the most important one a face-off win from joe thornton back to the point valimaki sends it in front and that's an overtime goal pitcher perfect overtime goal from i believe it was valimaki i just gotta make sure it's valimaki just make sure i give him credit okay i want to make sure i give him credit so was that uh uh, Brody over to Valimaki takes a slapper that's all you need to do just right past Va uh, Vasilevsky nothing you can do about that and I will take that each and every single day of the week but it comes down to game seven the all important numero seven I don't know how to say seven in any, in any other language Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Set. French. Oui, oui. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Stanley Cup will be decided each, e either other, e any other way. This is the way it had to be. 
a rematch from 2004. Another game seven. Boys, this is it. This is what we've been working for. I know this is only year three. But we're gonna we're probably gonna lose one of our top guys this year, Goudreau or Taylor Hall. One of them is probably gonna have to go. Who is gonna step up? Joe Thornton is one game shy of his first ever Stanley Cup. His first ever Stanley Cup at 42 years of age. I want to win it for him. Jumbo Joe wants the cup. Game number seven. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Do or die yet again. Big goal. Tristan O'Reilly. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Tristan. Big Big goal. Probably one of the biggest of your entire... Of your entire... Oh, Nikita Kudrov, I spoke too soon. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> no. Don't let me down like this, David Riddich. God damn it, David. No. Really? Oh, I'm going to send you into the sun. I'm going to send you into the sun. Are you kidding me? Are you on drugs? Are you on heroin? Meth? <laughs> Can we make it a game? Tristan O'Reilly's the only guy showing up. We were this close. This close. Calgary. We press the button. Do we? Do we mount a comeback in game seven? No, we don't, David Riddich. No, no, David. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm done. I'm screw this game. Are you kidding me? A 7 2 performance. Our seventh. Uh, the seventh game. Our third straight game seven. Congratulations on the Stanley Cup, Tampa Bay. You totally deserve it. David Riddich, mark my words, I'm sending you into the goddamn sun. You're going you're you're going to the KHL. Okay? I'm sent no, you're going to the ECHL. Screw you, dying hole. No offense, actual David Riddich. This game, I hate it. But I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Goodbye.